Hey, I'm James from Visley, and I'm going to show you a really basic HTML uh, project that can render a Visley dashboard using our in-browser setup. So I'm here on the uh, on my account. I'm going to create uh, my in-browser project. I'm going to then run these commands to install the Visley CLI. sign in and then run this command to set up my project. So what this has given me is two pen files that will be used for identity logic further down the line. I've already set up my index.html file, which at the moment is just giving me a blank page. Now for this to render a dashboard, I need to go to the Visby docs and copy the in-memory uh, database. Um, the, sorry, the script that brings in the in-memory database. I also need to copy the script that brings in the dashboard itself. And I'm going to copy the uh, HTML code example uh, that renders a dashboard with some uh, with a data set and with some dummy data. I'm going to paste that into the body tag of my uh, of my page. Now, what this does is um, we have added in a Visly uh, dashboard HTML element, and we added in a script that will um, render the dashboard with these properties that we passed through. So the first one being um, a list of uh, data sets, which um, will be the data sets I want to make available on my dashboard. And so I've given my data set a name and um, a series of fields of varying types. And I've also provided a async data function, which will um, go and um, uh, it will return the data for a specific uh, data set that it's asked for. So here, I just check the data set ID matches up, and then I return my dummy data. Of course, you can fetch this from your API or wherever you need to, should you wish. Um, the final part that we have is the identity logic. Now in production, you'll probably want to go and make an API call to your server to uh, fetch the access tokens. But for this demo, we're just going to generate some test access tokens and use those instead. So on my, in my terminal, I can copy this command that has been um, printed out for me. So this will use that private key that I've just generated. Um, and it will create some test access tokens. So you, just to make it easier to get up and running. So from this identity function, I'm just going to return those dummy tokens. Now, if I was to refresh my, um, my index HTML file, you can see it's the Visly dashboard. We've got uh, data coming through. We've got um, the various fields I want to make available to my user, and this is the fully functioning Visly dashboard uh, ready to go. Um, thank you very much. That's it.